Let's talk about why if Tesla and all electric manufacturers lose the 7,500 EV tax credit, well, really just Tesla specifically, why it actually won't be that big of a deal and why it could actually be much, much better. Let's talk about the bull case on why it could be, and, but let's talk about it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Talk to Hallmark's catalog. He posted this. Just a few months ago, Tesla was selling a standard range Model 3 for 38990 Today, this cheapest Model Y that you can get is 42490 or 3500 more expensive. The base model was removed because considering the EV tax credit, the long range roll drive costs less and provide more. In this way, the EV tax credit actually drove up the price of a Model 3 EV. And, and if you don't qualify for the tax credit, the price of the Model 3 just went up by half the amount of the tax credit. And this kind of actually makes a lot of sense because they only released and took it away because you could just get a long range rear wheel drive for a great price especially if you factor in the 7,500. So there's, there's a will, there's a way. I really do feel like if Tesla loses the 7,500 federal tax credit, they're just going to make cheaper versions of Tesla vehicles like this with an LFP battery standard range. And we're already starting to see that in other countries like Mexico, where they stripped the Model 3 even further and gave it like interior cloth seats and other things like that. And so they'll figure out a way to really try and bring the prices of the vehicles lower by lowering the cost of goods and everything. Here's another article from G Gene Munster, Tesla Delivery should ex still accelerate next year despite the tax credit ending. It seems like there's a whole article about this and why it matters or it doesn't matter. And either way, at the end of the day, Tesla always works to try to lower the cost of goods. And so we could see prices coming down. But let's talk about the other flip side and like how much has the government actually spent here? The government has actually spent out, paid out $2 billion in IRA credits for qualifying vehicles, over 300 vehicles, both new and used benefits. So it's a big chunk of change for sure. Quote, also from James, Trump killing the 7.5K tax credit is not bullish. Stop the nonsense. For 30% of Tesla's existing U.S. volume, price will increase by 7500 Same will be true for plug-in hybrids, EVs, and much, much more. And so this will immediately shock the system, and I do agree with that. In the few months that the 7500 is removed, people won't actually want to buy an electric vehicle for $7,500 more. So it will take some time. And so even if on day one, Trump figures out how he can remove that 7,500 federal tax credit, most likely it will take some time, like 100 days. And even if it does, prices will, won't start to come down, even if they're going to, for a long, long time. But here's another post from Troy Tesla that's pretty interesting. Tesla competes with gas cars from BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, and Audi. And therefore, without the tax credit, Tesla will effectively be 7,900 more expensive compared to those cars. Right now, when someone buys a car in the U.S. or buys a Tesla, they get a 7,500 point of sale discount. And that's one thing to think about. Like there's a lot of competition out there right now, a lot of different brands, a lot of different models. And so if that 7,500 goes away, people are going to get that immediate sticker shock. And I don't know if I would pay 7,500 7, more over like a BMW 3 Series for a Model 3 Tesla. It just doesn't pencil at that point. You're not going to save 7,500 in gas over the course of the life of the vehicle. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let us know what your thoughts are. Let us know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the live stream comments.